Criminal justice pertains to violations of laws in our country. As Professor Weatherly said, justice is a subjective term, but is most equitable to fairness. That is to say, people may not perceive justice the same as others. However, this purpose is of the criminal justice system to have an organized entity that can judge guilt and punish all, providing fairness to the accused and the accusers. The three major parts of criminal justice system are police, courts, and corrections. These parts all work together in some fashion and affect each other some ways. At the lowest level, when police make arrests, this can affect the corrections as they could have an increase in population. Usually, when the police make arrests, they will go to court and there it will be determined if they are sent to a corrections facility. Prosecutors are also affected by both police and corrections. If prosecutions have too much of a caseload, they could be willing, willing to make deals with people instead of taking the case to trial. And that actually brings me to the conflict and consensus model and how they function. First is the conflict model. One that operates off the belief that all parts of the system work separately in the pursuit of justice. For example, as previously stated before, the prosecution relies on a lot on what police and corrections are willing or able to do. They cannot pursue charges for a less serious crime if pr prisons and jails are full. However, that, responsibi that responsibility also follows on the law enforcement because every person they arrest, the prosecution and courts have no choice but to process the suspects. Oftentimes, because of this fluctuation and instability, many of these parts will work only for the good of themselves, meaning they would rather fulfill only their role instead of looking at the bigger picture, working more closely with the other parts of the system. The consensus model, on the other hand, is almost a complete opposite. This model believes that all parts work together in the pursuit of justice. Each part of the system must perform its role with consideration to the, to the other parts in the system. For example, prosecu prosecutors may try to deal out an individual rather than making them go to court as it speeds the process while considering the situation of the other parts. For example, corrections could have could be overcrowded. Due process is still followed in this model, but it considers the other parts of the system when making decisions. Finally, we need to discuss a couple of models that are used in the criminal justice system. First, we have the crime control model of justice. The crime control model views the justice system as they need to enforce laws to maintain public order. The, the second model is known as a due process model. Its sole focus is, is on the individual rights of citizens. A central focus of the due process model is to ensure that innocent people are not convicted of crimes, which they did not commit. When viewing the criminal justice system through the eyes of the due process model, someone can make a strong argument that the protection of an individual rights are most valuable piece of the criminal justice system and all processes that are associated with the system. <clears throat> as Americans, these rights are to be protected as we are entitled to these rights. Whether someone views the criminal justice system through the crime control model or the due process model, the ultimate goal is always the same. A system of social control that is fair to the individuals that pass through it.